Well, hello, AP Physics students. Um, just checking in like I do each day. Um, kind of give you some of the highlights. I think we ironed away a lot of the logistics last week, so we're kind of into, hopefully, into the flow, although some of you might be going with a different flow here soon if you elect to, uh, to take the AP test, after all. Um, speaking of which, there's a survey out there, a little form that I put up um, on Friday, and I asked you to fill it out by um, Monday, but I'm changing my mind. I'm going to give you a couple more days because there's just a lot more um, going on with that AP exam change than I thought. So I want to have time to make sure I look over it closely. It just came out Friday and, and there's been a lot of conversations among teachers around the country um, that I've been part of and some things that I wasn't aware of. So we're going to take our time and make sure we make a good decision for each of you about that. Um, so I'm showing you the the stream, um, it's not my favorite view of things on Google Classroom, so I like to go to Classwork. This is where everything's organized. Just a refresher, because I last week it was a little bit haphazard how I put things up. So at the very top, kind of unlabeled, it's not under a topic, is the reference page. That's the green page we're used to having in class. So you've got that at your disposal. And then um, there were a few things last week as we started the week that kind of didn't fit under a chapter, so that's just under the e-learning um, pretty much the only other thing left there is this survey that I was talking about that one there um, so when you feel comfortable making a decision about whether you're going to stick with the exam or not you go ahead and do that now if you already weren't going to do the exam then you can just do this survey now um, there's a spot on there where you say I wasn't even going to take the exam anyway so click that and you're pretty well done um, and then all the magnetism stuff so I can't remember if I mentioned this or not. I made a very short video, it's, I don't know, five or six minutes, that was like a compilation of all the first two or three sections because we had done those before spring break and I thought it'd be easy for you to have forgotten a lot of that. Um, so rather than go pour over every one of the videos, that's a little synopsis of everything. Um, now you still might need to look at some more detail. You have to know that yourself, whether you understand the stuff about, let's say, magnetic dipoles or not. Um, so that's there. Uh, the Google Meet is should still be open. That's been working pretty well each day from about um, 10 o'clock until 11.30 is when I'm going to have that open and available. Um, now, other times of the day, by all means, check in with me. I'm pretty much sitting by my computer from 8 to 3, kind of normal school hours every day. And so if you need a quiz or whatever, I should be able to reply pretty quickly to that. Um, now, sometimes I'm in the middle of something else, and so it's not going to be like instantaneous. But I would think within five minutes, if you ask for a quiz, I'll, I'll give you the quiz. If it's outside of the eight to three hours, you can still do that. Some people are working and they can't do it during regular hours. But it's going to be a little longer because I'm not sitting next to my computer as much after those hours. But I will try to, um, to check email frequently enough that I can get it to you, um, you know, in fairly short order. And then when you um, – oh, here's the revised calendar. Um, so like just looking at today, uh, Monday, we have um, homework due by 4, and then we're opening the last of the quizzes. Um, and then tomorrow is when 29.3 closes. Some of you took that for the first time last week. That was the Ampere's Law. They're kind of like proofs, if you will. Not proofs, but they're derivations of some equations for B fields. That is a straight-up memorization um, so, you know, if, if you saw the first one, you've pretty much seen the other two versions of that. Um, 29.4 we opened last week, and that's critical day is, um, is Wednesday. And then we're closing that one on Thursday. And then critical day for quiz five is on Friday. So everything feels like it's in slow motion because we're used to doing things three-day windows, and now it's like five or six-day windows. And I'm still not sure about a test. Um, it's a week and a half out. I guess got to think about that. So, um, so that's all of that. And then remember when you do a quiz that you should attach it here. So um, I'll have the rest of these up. So when you do a quiz, you just attach it. The pictures that you make um, from your answers, attach it to that, and do the turn in or submit. I forget what they call it there. And then I will get feedback to you. So I feel like that's been going pretty well. Um, if you do it during our regular class hours, 10 to 11.30, then it would be great. Um, we could go over things on uh, Google Meet if you want to. Just pop on there and say, hey, I just took my quiz. Can we look at it now? And if I'm not in the middle of something else with another student, that should work okay. So, um, okay, I don't want to hold this up too long. We're heading to five minutes now. So 
let me know um, if you're confused about anything, if you need some help, some nudges, whatever you need, I am happy to help. So um, get your work done and get out and maybe enjoy some nice weather today, it looks like. All right, take care.